Really? Uh, exactly. Thank you. That's all you need to say. Really? And finally, uh, they get a body language expert on. What? Gary Coleman is out of control. He needs a lot of help. To get a deeper perspective on Gary's behavior, we turn to body language expert Dr. Lillian Glass. You I'm going to say, because my mind, I, I got to say it now. If they want to collude, and I, the, the, the they is vague. Yeah. If they want to collude you into being fucked up, no matter what you do, you can't fight it. No. So the only thing you can do is go, yeah, I'm that. So, Mr. O'Neill, do you like rape? To some degree. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> it's tasty. <laughs> it, because if I go, man, are you fucking kidding? If you try to defend yourself right. reasonably, they'll bring in a body language guy to go, did you see how he raised his finger? Yeah, that means. Did you means see what he did? Rapity rape, 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 rape. Yes, man. <laughs> like, they, they can collude and make you sound like you're a yeah. fucking maniac. Gary Coleman now, this sick kid, yeah. this very weak man. Mm -hmm. Who's scared of women, by the way, because when he when he got in trouble with the uh, hitting that that big black woman who said, you better give me your autograph, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. He he had to protect himself from her and she sued him. But Gary was so weak. And so I, I he goes I and he's embarrassed mm -hmm. to say things like I'm four feet. <laughs> I'm sick. My hands are frail. <laughs> I can't even beat a woman. Yeah. The guy is fucking sad. He should be dead. Yeah. He will. This, this kid, man. He, he will be. This kid. He will 40. be soon, too. I know. He will be Feel soon. bad for I him. mean, and at the end of the day, you know, that's he's not a yeah. woman fucking beater, man. Yeah. Got him for Brooklyn rights. I don't believe. Uh, did Sam Kinison say this? I don't believe in hitting women, but I understand what turns Mr. Hand into Mr. Fist. <laughs> oh, shit. I know a lot about Sam Kinison. I don't remember him ever saying that line. That's, that's, I, that's, I, a, that's I, a great line. I think line. I do remember that one. Uh, uh, oh, wait, what is this? I don't know if there's a compliment or some shit coming your way, Aunt Julia right. in Texas. Julia? I don't care. Yes. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Hi. I just wanted to say my husband listens to y'all show all the time, and I don't know who called uh, Nisi Mouse Ancient Mama, but that shit is fucking hilarious. More people need to stand up and talk about black women like that on TV because them bitches do act like fucking... That's how they... Yeah, that's, that's the Patrice only... That's Patrice O'Neal. Yeah, that's the do. only... black women myself. Yeah, but see, that's the only way we certain people can get a job. And look it, I don't blame them because that's what the only way they can get a job is to go, uh-huh. Let me tell you something. If you watch any TV... Every black woman on TV that gets a job is a variation of a bitch that goes, uh-huh. It's, exactly. it's either a loud, uh-uh, like the fucking Pine Saw lady who goes, yeah. oh, you yeah. better clean this up, yeah. this mess. Exactly. Or exactly. a fucking quiet version like the Popeye's chicken lady who goes, you got to eat some delicious Cajun Spice Popeye. <laughs> it's, it's Aunt Jemima shit, man. I'm going to think about that all day. I'm telling you, though. <laughs> and, well, the white Jemima. guy looks like a complete asshole on uh, TV now. Uh, uh, so. uh, uh, and That's now we been. got the black woman look like Aunt Jemima. Yep. So. Yeah. All right, Julia, right on. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you listening, all right? Thank you. We're trying to bring a little more color into this radio show. <laughs> so. It's good to know you're out there. Thank Just don't you. move into my neighborhood. <laughs> all right, Julia. <laughs> Jesus you, Christ. You're just a darling nigglet. What's wrong with you yeah. motherfuckers? <laughs> and, and get that labia clip. What's the, oh, you, oh, you, you motherfuckers. We don't, mind, we don't mind that they're part of our radio neighborhood. <laughs> yes. We need Nordic labia. <laughs> Nordic. All right, here's the last uh, part of that clip, uh, the body language uh, expert. For Dr. Lillian Glass. You can see the veins. In his head, pop out. Yeah, Literally. Cause yeah, because he's anger. ill. She's pushing my buttons. It's his blood pressure. And I don't like her now. The finger point, really angry. At this point, he could have been very dangerous to Lisa. Oh, my. Okay. Thank right, goodness right, cut he it off. walked off the set. Look, look, look. They are fucking executing him. For what for what he didn't do, which they like anything. Yeah. Now they bring in, so you don't say anything. You, you you never say you beat your wife or anything like that. And then they <clears throat> they get a body language expert, whoever the fuck that is, to say that he was being dangerous. What, what the fuck? The guy walked away. 
He walked away. How dangerous is but that? But see, women, they, they don't even want you to think. Uh, oh, God. Like, they don't even want you to think what you want to think. No. Like, it's just like. Mm, no. Really? I, let me, they, did the, they started the whole fucking thing. Do you think that men should hit women? No, uh, no but I think that men right. should have the right to think uh, about it. All right, here's, God. here's two guys that, all, that <laughs> yeah. also allegedly hit women. Oh, yeah? Would this bitch act the same way if it was Mike Tyson or even oh, more current, oh, oh. Evander Holyfield? Oh, he stalked this girl? Supposedly. Over, Charlie oh, Sheen. I, I bet she was screaming money, Charlie Sheen about it. Evander Holyfield supposedly hit his wife over uh, money that they were going to give oh, to a church or something. I laughed about that. That was like, yeah. bitch. But she you, said we ain't got no money. Would they be that <laughs> brave, though? Health. I mean, we I all know they, the answer, obviously. I think they would be that brave with Charlie. They would test Charlie. Charlie Sheen? Yeah, I think they would. Not Evander Holyfield, not no, fucking no, Tyson. No. Maybe uh, Holyfield because he has a control level about him, but she certainly wouldn't have did that shit to Tyson. Hell fucking no. Certainly wouldn't have. Uh, I encourage people out there to take a peek at this. The Insider, it's called, on uh, CBS, I think. Uh, just so you could get enraged. Because we talk about it from time to time this show. Mm -hmm. They're unbelievable. They really are. Poor Gary Coleman. We're trying to God get him on damn. the phone. It ain't happening. His skin is like he's gray. He looks like an alien now. It's it's you know the grays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they call him grays. Mm -hmm. He's looking like an alien. But that's beyond ashy. That is super ashy.